This is my blue and I'm back with another reaction for some reason people love watching reactions so here I am providing these videos for you um, and today I really want to react to one person who uh, is learning Serbian or might I say he is very proficient in Serbian his name is Tiago Ferreira oh no Ferreira Ferreira I don't know. I learned Portuguese for one semester and uh, that's as much as I know. <laughs> so I saw some of his videos. I know that he went to from Brazil to Serbia because, um, because of a relationship, because he was in love. And he also fell in love with Serbia, with the language, with the customs. And I find it really fascinating because when you think about your own culture, you don't really think about if that would be interesting to anyone else. So um, yeah, I really wanted to check out some of his videos. So the first video that I will check will be uh, which basically means talk Serbian so that the whole world understands you. Uh, this is the thing we say in Serbian for some reason, because we think we're important and to us we are um, so this video lasts for only two minutes but it has like around 150,000 views and that's why I really wanted to watch it in the video there's another Italian girl so I really want to hear her speaking Serbian as well and then I might uh, go for a newer video to see how much he's actually progressed um, as far as I know he's basically almost native like I probably wouldn't even notice his accent or um, anything so yeah I have my laptop here um, and that's why I'm gonna look in this direction um, so let's check out the video okay um, the apartment across is still being renovated so I'm probably gonna hear some noise but let's uh, try to watch the video <laughs> It's so difficult to have that like r sound. Anyway, Tiago. Okay, so he just met her now. I'm guessing, or like recently. Let's see, Eleonora is probably gonna blow me away. So she came last year for a trip. She fell in love. And this is how much she's learned. I mean, what the hell? Why is it taking so long for me to learn a language? <laughs> it's normal. Part of learning a language is making mistakes accepted. And you're not gonna be able to detect all of the mistakes at once only at later stages can, will you be a bit more observant, but even now we still make mistakes. Let's make mistakes in Serbian and English, and that's just what it is. So she's living in Sombor, which is way, way, way up high in the north. Um, it's a really pretty city. I've been there once. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> he's completely immersed into everything Serbian. I love it. I'm sure he's seen Serbia, like he's traveled through Serbia way more than me. Um, actually, because now I think she's, uh, sorry, not she, he's focusing on tourism, the tourism part of Serbia then um yeah he's 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 learned so much and seen so much and 
um, I would pay him to guide me through Serbia for sure. <laughs> Also, can we talk about his accent? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's it's impeccable. I mean, um, he's talking very slowly, but not everyone speaks very fast. So, I, I I don't know if I would have guessed that he's not from Serbia. I don't know. He even has the look. I don't know how to explain it. He looks like a Serbian guy. <laughs> <laughs> She's amazing. Amazing. I, I mean, amazing. Nora Italianka u Soboru živi, govori srpski tečno. Šta, šta još da vam kaže? Hvala puno što si, što si snimila ovo. Jedan veliki pozdrav za Sombor, za sve Somborce. Jel imaš još nešto da nam kažeš? Pa ne, sada ne znam, pošto. Dobro, ona samo... <laughs> he has this very, very kind of like calm and soothing and a voice and kind of as if he's a bit older and he has the wisdom and he's taking his time to speak and I find it uh, very, very specific and, and, and really interesting and amazing. Um, and she also like, I mean, those people, they're amazing. Um, maybe they have a talent, maybe they're just motivated at learning languages, but I'm pretty blown away. Let's just watch another video of his, just a clip, just like a snippet at least, uh, one of his newest videos. I really want to see how his accent and his language knowledge has improved. Okay, let's watch this one. Uh, it's called Tiago Putem Pravoslavlja, Manastir Mileševa. Um, it's 27 minutes long, but I'm not, I'm just gonna watch like a minute or two just to see, have a sense of, of how much he's improved. Okay, can I just say that I'm really happy that someone is advertising Serbia. I mean, in a sense, when it comes to tourism, you want to keep your um, the natural beauty as preserved. You don't want to be too, too kind of advertise it too much because some places just become tourist places and, for, for example, kind of like Ibiza, right? So it's, a, it's like the place where you go to you know, go for a party. But I hope that they will advertise this in a, in a way so that not only does the, the country benefit, but also um, the nature will benefit. The, we will preserve these very important historical monuments and places. So um, yeah, really happy to see how this is going to develop. <laughs> wow, he is really fast when he's like using these these like phrases. Um, these are like very common phrases, uh, saying goodbye, saying hello, um, but they're very essential. You have to automize them. So that's really good. Okay, can I just say that I find it very difficult to say things in English, like to learn a script and then to say these things. That's why I always like chop my videos. He is doing a one shot video where he's just like speaking things in Serbian. Very, very, I don't know if he memorized that or if he just like spontaneously kind of did it. Well, I don't want to say spontaneously, but um, improvised a bit, but props to him. I mean, um, yeah, that is not natural to everyone. So I'm really, really, um, yeah. I'm gonna stop here because I know that he's good at Serbian. He doesn't need to tell me. <laughs> I'm really happy that um, people are getting interested in learning Serbian. Um, I mean, I've told you that I started making YouTube videos not about Serbian, it was just that um, I think I, I explained it or I said it in a video that I'm from Serbia um, 
And then someone was just like, hey, I really want to learn Serbian. Can you teach me a bit? And I'm like, okay. Even though I really wasn't trained to teach Serbian. I mean, it's really nice when you know your language, but you're not really explicitly taught all the rules. And that's why it's very difficult to teach someone that language. So this is kind of a challenge to me as well to learn about my uh, language, about my culture. And I'm really happy that other people like Tiago are interested. We are all very proud that someone is so interested in our culture and language and in our country overall. And uh, yeah, maybe we're gonna meet one day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Veliki positive. Thank you.